Welcome back everybody, my name is Always, and this is the third video of JavaScript Ascent to Drank series. In this video I'm going to be talking about variables in JavaScript. So in all programs and in all other programming languages we have to keep track of many pieces of data. It could be your email address, your date of birth, your name, your address, your result from the school and so many other things. So to store all data we create a variables. A variable is a container and it allocates a little piece of memory into a computer by giving it a name. So we can use it while our JavaScript is running. We create it, we can name it, we can put values in it and then we change the value as we need it. In JavaScript we create a variable like this. You type the keyword var and then the name of your variable. In this case I'm going to name my variable a and then the semicolon at the end. The name of the variable itself is up to us and it should represent the piece of data that we want to hold in it. In this case I just named it a so a doesn't rep represent anything right? Why can't we just say my name and then I can initialize it with the value in it. I'm going to use assignment operator which is an equal to sign in JavaScript and then in double quotation I'll type my name and this is a variable my name which holds the value of my name. In JavaScript the variable names can be start from letters, numbers, underscore and dollar sign but you cannot start a variable name with a number. For example I will create another variable so type var and I will name it a is equal to 1 and then we create another variable var 1a is equal to 2 and now you can see we have an error so real studio code is telling us that this is not allowed in javascript we cannot start a variable name with the number but what if i change the a and 1 now it is allowed so you can start your variable name with the letter and then you can add underscore dollar sign numbers to it. Now I've created two variables. I'm going to delete all of them. So we create three more variables. So it would be easier for us to understand. Now var a semicolon, var b semicolon, var c semicolon. So I have three variables here. Let's say you want to make multiple variables. Now there's another way you can do. So I used three lines to create three variables. What if I want to use this one line to create all of these variables? So I can do it this way. var a and I can separate it with comma b comma c and a semicolon. That statement does the same job for creating three variables a, b and c. If you have watched my Java tutorials in Java or many other programming languages we provide a data type as well. So what I will do here I'm going to delete these three variables and we initialize this a, b and c variable. So the first variable which is a I'm going to initialize it with equal to sign and the value I want to store in a. So I'll store one. Now in b I will type is equal to which is an assignment operator and I will add double quotation and I will type my name always. Third variable type is equal to and here we can say true. Alright so you see that we have the variable a, b and c and we got the different types of data in those variables. If it was Java it will give you an error because Java needs to know that what type of data you are going to store in it. In JavaScript we don't have to define a data type. Well JavaScript is what's called a weakly typed language. We don't make an integer variable or a text variable or a boolean variable. We just use the word war to create a generic variable and then simply put whatever data type you want to put in. So I executed the line var1 and then var ba 
and then var c true or false so the first is an integer variable and then the second one is a string variable and the third one is a boolean variable now let's look at how we can create these variables in one line we created three variables where we did not initialize them so what if i can do var a is equal to two comma and b is equal to three comma and then c equal to four and a semicolon now we got three variables in this statement which has the name a b and c and we actually initialize the value on the same line so you can create a multiple variables on the same line with initialized values now one more thing i want to say here before we finish this video that java is case sensitive that means if i create a var variable capital a is equal to one and then add semicolon now you might be thinking that these are the same name so they must be the same variable no they're not java is case sensitive so lowercase a is not equal to lowercase sorry uppercase a they are totally different variables so java is case sensitive now before we finish this video i will just make an uh, a quick exercise well what we will do we will say var b is equal to 2 and then we are going to create another variable var result is equal to a plus b and semicolon now a has a value of 1 b has a value of 2 and then var result has a value of a plus b so that would be 3 now what i'm going to do i'm going to delete the alert on the top and then i'm going to type here alert and then here we type the name of the variable result and then add semicolon i'm going to save the file we have this index.html i'm going to open that into a browser and there you go so we got the value three that's the answer so that is how we display the result in html by using javascript all right so this is how you create variables i hope uh, you understood how variable works in javascript and different way of uh, making variables so in the next video we are going to talk about conditional statement that's very important so stay tuned for that subscribe to the channel and uh, if you're interested in learning programming guys please uh, join our facebook group i'll drop a link in the description please check it out join the group and uh, yeah you can ask the question over there and i'm there and a few of my friends or developer are available there so we can all help you out and yeah that's it for this video guys thanks for watching and i'll talk to you guys in the next one cheers